everybody, Goobity Q here with Dignify. Lubo. Unless we're left off, everything seems okay. Sort of. Look at this dog. I love her. I want to smooch her stupid, dumb nose. Because <laughs> I love her. Rika! She's a good dog. She's a good girl. Who is a, fucking gets kidnapped a lot. Anyway, we're not here for that right now. Right now, Russer, we haven't talked to you yet. Boing! Mr. Russia? Hmm? Ah, uh, how are you feeling, little one? Better. Oh, you don't sound better. Oh. I'm sorry! For what? I thought you murdered Kugel! Well, I thought General Winter did it with your body, but, but still. What? Goodness gracious! Why on earth would he ever do that? You mentioned he used you as a dog sometimes, and I thought you meant he. I thought you meant possession! Oh, no, rag doll is what I meant. Whipping me around in blizzard winds and such. Not using me like marionette. Mm. Oh, boy. You sound like you still don't believe me. Well, it wasn't just the doll thing, but I found this too! Ah, oh, the bloody blanket. I've been wondering what you've been carrying it around for. Let me see. Oh! My boy, you found it! Found it? What it? What? My dearest possession. Brought. Eh! <laughs> we found one more toddler of yours in the laundry room. I brought his laptop. I honestly doubted you when you said he couldn't live without his computer, but goodness. Ladonia! Sisters, look! This young man has found my heart! Your... heart? Ugh, don't just flop that around in front of the children! Put that away! Yeah, that's fucking gross! Congrats and all, but stick it back in there before one of these babies throws up. Wiping up vomit is the last thing I want to fucking do today. Mm -hmm. I'm shocked. By now you'd be complaining about being called a baby. She scares me. For good reason. Hold on, please. Oh. There we go. Woo! That feels odd! Won't be going anywhere for a while! <laughs> I suppose I should explain. Remember when I told you General Winter rammed his helmet into me? Uh, yes Well, you see, my heart comes out. A bit of an old war wound from Mongolia. It's a long story. So when he rammed me, my heart flung out and I didn't know where it went. And you found it! Oh my goodness, too. I was getting pretty chilly without fresh blood. <laughs> Feels nice to feel my fingers again. Incredible. You can live without a hat? For a while, yes. It's what? my quirk. <laughs> Lots of nations can. Ask Francis, he once lived a what, full five minutes without his head. That's pretty brutal, dude. <laughs> so, what I thought was Kugel's dead body this whole time was your heart. I got to ask, kid, why did you think a human sized heart, it's all the size of a football, would be the what a person's body? I thought it was part of his body, like it was chainsawed off! Oh. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed! I'm sorry, it's all my fault! <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No need to fuss. He's alright. What matters is that the end, everyone is here, and everyone is alright. And no one is coming to kick my ass. Aside from what was possible concussion from slamming into the door. What? what <laughs> I'm joking, it wasn't that hard of a bump unless you're a soft skull little American, but wait. <laughs> I'm suing. Fight me. Get in line, buckle. Anyway, 
the house power is back up if you want to get everyone backwards properly insulated. Mm, yes, that would be a good idea. You two take them back. I have to take care of something. Can I come this? Of course you can. M me too! I want to help! Sure, the more the barrier! Anyone else? <laughs> no, thank you. Adonius could have quite the shock when he's brought back online. I'll need to calm him down. I want to be warm, thanks. I'll see if we can get something to eat other than uh, other than half baked pierogies. Half baked? Oh goodness! Have you all not eaten? Not really, nah. Ugh. Brat, shame on you, leaving these poor dears to starve. I was a bit busy being locked in the shed. Me. Probably for the best. Your cooking is better than his anyway. Damn straight it is. They think it's mean. Fight me, brat. My blues. Damn right. Ah, oh, to taste your experience cuisine out from afar. I am truly blessed this day. Don't push your luck. You're still in trouble, young man. But thank you. <laughs> he just turns towards the wall, hands cupped over his face. <laughs> come on, come on. Let's get back inside. Bella, can you get some blankets for everyone? Me, fine. Barf! I love her. Yes, Rika, you can come too. What do you need to do, Mr. Rasha? I need to right a wrong. I know I've been very prideful, but it's making everyone else suffer. Can you grab that bag in the corner over there? This brightly yellow one? Oh, Jesus! It's heavy! I can carry it. No need. I have to get it. Now, let's go to the hill. We just need to go east from here. But Malaysia took his phone back. How will we see? We won't need it. With all the lights back on at the house, there should be enough around for to find our way there. Oof. Goodbye, ice sculptures. I'll see you later. Huh? Snowman! Mm-hmm. Google and I made it when we were waiting for everyone to quick collect it. Very nice one, no? Yes. No. Yes. Yes. I'm just reminded of that fucking hunchback now. Pip pip cheerio, what what? Nah, that's the prince of the popper. <laughs> Wait here, you two. I can handle it from here. Whatever you're gonna do, good luck! Be safe, please. General Moroz! Uzlish Minya! Ya vinovad pepre to boyi! Ya! Proshu! Prosh! Chenia! Chenaya! Chenaya! Hmm. More Russian! I know Russian. I help translate. <laughs> do you know Russian? You do? Mm hmm. Austria favors me learning many languages. It helps with art research. Oh, thank God. That means I don't have to butcher any more of that language. <laughs> Neat! What's he saying? General Winter, hear me! I am sorry. You may have made me lose my heart, but you never kept it from me. I should have given your helmet back much sooner, but I was too prideful! Please, take your helmet back, and with it, my apologies. There is fragile life here that was almost snuffed out this night by my mistake. Please take pity on them, and show mercy on this hand. Lift this curse of winter, and set us free! Let me have some fucking sunshine. 
Thanks much. Thank you, General Winter. May we see you and each other again at the turning of the leaves. Perhaps on a positive note? Maybe? Okay. There. Hold on. Wow! That was amazing! Encore! Encore! It was beauty! It was art! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! <laughs> Let this be a lesson to you about diplomacy. Sometimes just assuming the worst and keeping grudges isn't the best way to fix the- <coughs> Are you okay? Did uh, you have a stroke? Yes, a particular clot. His name is Alfred. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But never be too stubborn to apologize when you realize what you did was wrong. <coughs> there it goes again. Don't side eye me, kid. Why the sour face? He didn't apologize to me yet. Then we can kick his ass! Really? He said he would! Well, he still has a ways to go to learn these lessons. Oh, but while him apologizing is important, have you forgiven him? I'm not saying you have to right away. Just keep it in mind. Though you are always welcome here, should you need an ear to chew off? Gruffle, gruffle. Hmm. You're so cool, Mr. Russia! Ha, oh, pun. <laughs> Thank you! Now let's get back inside and get some of Big Sestro's cooking! I hope it's a good soup! I shall dine on this art with vigor! Oh, it's beautiful in its simplicity. Me too! I'm starving! Now that my stomach's not up in knots because of anxiety! An hour later. Fish soup, fish soup, fish soup. Correct. I still can't quite believe it. It's true! I saw General Winter and he made everything not snowy! Mmm. Sounds sketchy. You guys saw outside, so General or not, at least the blizzard's gone. And might I say, sir, your land is very nice. I haven't been able to see so many stars in quite a while. A curse for being a country with lots of glamorous light. Still no phone service, though. <clears throat> Meh, whatever. Yes, Google, you were going to say something? Will they? Mm, probably just some art related. I'm going to skin you. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, come on, don't be mean, especially after everyone else thought we died. Maybe if you would put down your phone once in a while, you could maybe learn how to talk to others and be part of the conversation. Instead of what you usually do, just ignoring everyone and, and complaining about not being involved. If there's no Wi-Fi or phone service, you could try to talk to us, maybe? <coughs> Just an artistic thought. Don't mind me. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think I've heard Cougar say that much all at once before. Same. Ha <laughs> You tell him! I'm so proud. <laughs> Fine. I mean, I see a lot of stars too. We have a small place in the desert, so we have like, a lot. It's true. Really? I wouldn't have guessed. Well, with you being in America's Nevada, wouldn't it be bright all over because of Vegas or Reno? Nah, we're pretty far from them. <gasps> you alright there? I'm just having flashbacks. <laughs> like, everybody from outside of Nevada, they all fucking think that's a, that, that's all there is. There's Reno and Las Vegas, and that's where everything is. And it's like, fucker, no! 
Minton, Douglas, Gardnerville, Genoa, Sparks! Well, Sparks kind of turned into Reno anyway. Virginia City! And then all the weird little places in and out. You can see the stars wherever you want to go! You just have to drive, like, 20 minutes away from Carson! Oh my god! I hate this this concept that people have about that state, and I don't even like that state very much. <laughs> <sighs> Been sitting on that one for a while. Sorry. Nah, you good. Since we bought those passwords for you a long time ago, we should come visit. That ain't how boss says it works, but I, we'll figure something out, I guess. <laughs> Looks like we know who's hosting our next meeting. What? You're right! Great idea! Micronation meeting under the stars. How dreamy. Better hook up some extension cords so I can come too. Hope you got some biscuits! Lingonberry drink. Hey, 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 come on! At least let me have some time to plan it and write things down. Christ! Hee <laughs> hee! Mm, you happy children. I love the sound. <sighs> Me too. Mm. Brat, you wanna have a kid? Look at nothing. No, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking coward. I like my penis where it is. <laughs> Please don't tease him like that. I can't tell if you're serious anyway. I'm too sober for this. Hmm? Who could that be? Wait. Venaya! <laughs> what the hell have you done to my baby? Come out, you swine! Pimpacule! I took your head clean off in the last war! I'll do it again! Hey, Dad? Uh, oh no. The distress signal. Click. Right. Finland! What has gotten into you? Finn, slow down. He's getting away! Click, click! I can't slow down! Papa! Dad! <gasps> Sealant! Oh, thank God's alive! Are you okay? Where did they hurt you? Are you still bleeding? I'm okay! It's all a misunderstanding! Hmm? Eh? Ciao, Mr. Sealant's dad! One, two, six... Everyone's here? I thought all of them was dead! So did we, but they were, uh, hiding. He's so peeved. <sighs> mm. You okay? Shouldn't you be more concerned with your flesh and blood, son? You're important too. You okay? He's adopted! Uh -huh. You're his flesh and blood son! Yes, but Ladonia's a hologram. That's what he means by it. Oh... He's literally flesh and blood. Oh, okay, I get it. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm glad. Fatherly hug. <sighs> Wait, so he didn't hurt any of you? A fucking course not! Language. My fucking house. Well, technically. It's the fucking principal! Sister! Ah. He just turns around, pinches his nose. <sighs> turns back around. Boys? Please? Don't scare us like that. Hi! I was talking to Sealant and Ladonia. Why? You all didn't do anything. They sent us a message screaming that you are all dead and they needed help. 
What even happened anyway? It's a long story. Is he done shooting up the place yet? Please say he calmed down. I am not calm! Well... Fratellos? Are you okay? We heard the last year was up to some spooky shit. You alright? <laughs> I'm, I'm fine. I, sorry, I'm, I'm just a little touchy. You actually came in for me. And... Romano just pats his back softly and rubs. Hey, hey, it's okay. Handsome handkerchief. It's okay. <laughs> Blow if you need to. <laughs> That's great. So, why are you both out here? I can tell you, he's been very disrespectful. He snuck into my room and broke an old war trophy I had. So, Borgia, what the fuck? That's so mean. It wasn't like... It was an accident of circumstance, I swear. <laughs> we apologize for our little brother's abhorrent behavior. May I take you to dinner for an apology? No, no. Bella, pick me. We can go dancing for an apology. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Didn't expect them to say yes. But you're paying. Me either. Mm. Whatever. A date's a date. I'm lonely as hell. At about seven on Saturday. Sure. Double date. Let me come with. Perchance the bell in the pretty blue dress. But mm -hmm. you don't think I can't handle you both? Uh, what the fuck? We didn't want to assume you're into polyamory. Not you. Bene! Me. I'll drag his ass around the dance floor if I get free food. Sleep me off my feet, Romeo. See? The more the merrier. I'll what? Consider this your punishment. We get the pretty ladies, not you. You guys are so mean. You broke my war trophy. Oi! Anybody home? The door's just kind of open. From the back, let the gold heat out. <laughs> Big brother! Australia! Mr. America! Ah, thank goodness y'all guys are safe! Right? You guys are safe? A bit cold, but yeah, for the most part we're fine! He, she just goes over and just wraps her arms around his Doof. waist. Hey! Hug from Hut! <laughs> I must be dreaming! Oh, I'm just... Really glad to see you, mate. Oh, hut. Uh, why you two? Mmm, just a little family moment. Yeah. Group could, hug. Could you carry me home, please? Oh, sure. Get on my back. Hey. Uh, dude, you okay? Word through the grapevine was Russia was doing some real bad shit up in here again. Y yeah. You sure? You ain't exactly acting okay. I mean, Russia was doing the best he could. I was being more of an asshole than he was. You're damn right. Really? You? I can't believe that. I can't really believe that. You wouldn't hurt a fly, my man. I guess. Huh. We'll talk about it over McDonald's on our way home, hey champ? Remember, I have receipts. That'd be nice. And no one for Kugel. Hmm. Sorry. Am I in trouble? As much as I would love to shoot your face open like a ripe melon. No. Looks like the boys gave us a message that wasn't right. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> I. I, I thought they was possessed by a ghost when I was really just doing some ice carving. Funny how things happen like that. 
Could you get your finger off the trigger? That's my head form. I don't feel like it. Thanks for looking after him, mate. They look kind of shook, but they seem pretty happy. Oh, he's no problem. <laughs> Dad! Dad, put the gun down. Please. You will go here any time. I want to see his knees shake. <laughs> Dad! He gave us dinner. That's not nice. Technically, his sister gave you dinner. He actually made dinner for us first. He just put the hands on the top, just slowly lowering it. Dad! What have I told you about gun safety? Clicks the safety on. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh, sure. I'm not too sure about that. No offense. I'm sure they'll have a, a, a happier time here when they're not stuck in a blizzard. A what? Blizzard? Mm-hmm. I hear you there. Winter's coming up sooner, and maybe they can migrate up here once in a while since it's getting warmer here. Oh. Oh. Uh, that's okay. I think that's a great idea, Australia. Let me humble hunt out a little. Oh, joy. An avocado! <laughs> Thanks. Thanks! Come on, Fratellino. Let's go home. Yeah, time to pack your bags. I don't have any. Turn to phrase, my dude. Oh, right. I'll get you both back home. Our ride's out front. Come on, little sis. He's just clinging to his back like a an angry drop bear. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Russia! Bye, I guess. Sorry for being a jerk to you. Oh, it's fine. I'd like to come by some other time and hang out with all of you. You know, when we're not afraid of our lives. Have a good night. I may have been mostly unconscious, but I'm pretty beat too. I'm gonna head to bed. Okay, I'll get you home. Let's get home, sweet Sealand. Almost said Sweetland. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure some time with Hana Tamago will help with your nerves. Mm, I'll make hot cocoa for all of us. That would be lovely. Thanks! I'm looking forward to it! But... Google? Where's your ride? That's a very good question. Dunno. Mm. I'd rather wait for their ride to show up. If he... Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that hasn't happened yet! If he even remembered. Oh, I see. Well, we'll warm up the car then. Take your time. Let's at least get these dishes out of the way in the meanwhile. Could you help us, you two? Can't do! Mm hmm. Alright, Pakella. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>